Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Roblox Safe Slot series and in this video I will be showing you how to lay out your screen GUI. So this GUI will let you save and load and it has a window that shows you your slots. So let's get straight into the video. First of all, I'm going to need a screen GUI so I'm going to go into my starter GUI and add a screen GUI and I'm going to call this uh, sl save slots. Inside the screen GUI, I'm going to add a frame, and this frame will act as the window that will display the slots. And I'm also going to add a text button that will uh, open this window when you click on it. So I'm just going to put the button on the left of the screen. You can put this anywhere you want. And I'm going to size up this uh, frame here so it looks like a window. I'm going to put it in the middle right here. And this frame, I'm going to call it the uh, slots window. And the text button, I will just uh, call it the visible button. For the button's text, I'm going to set it to save slash load like that. And I'm going to scale it up so the button looks like that. In the window, I'm going to add a text label. And uh, this stuff is optional. This is just for aesthetics and to make it look functional and informative. So this is just a text label for the title save slots in the text of this one and I'm going to scale this up so I'm going to have a title for it and this is the important part you're going to want to make a frame for each slot you have so if you want two slots I'm going to make two slots for my example I'm going to have one frame over here so I have one frame over here that will act as my first slot and I'm also going to have another frame which will act as my second slot and you're going to want to name these frames something like slot 1 and slot 2 and you'll see why this is important later and it's also okay to use a, a structure different than this and I will make an extra video to show you how you can uh, adapt uh, your scripts to work with some more advanced or different GUI layouts but if you're just starting out uh, you're gonna want to make sure you have this uh, layout with your slots as frames named something like slot underscore one slot underscore two dot 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 in these slots you're going to want to put some text labels and buttons and stuff so in here i have a text label that will act as my text so slot one scale that up you're going to want to add your two buttons of course your save and load buttons so i'm going to have my uh save button here and my load button uh below this And I'm going to call these buttons something useful, so like uh, save button and load button. And I'm also going to set their text accordingly. Alright, so I have my uh, GUI here, and I'm just going to copy the uh, text label and the buttons into the other slot, like that. And I'm just going to change the text so that it matches slot 2. There we go. And you're also going to want to add a text button or an image button in the top right to let the player exit if they don't want to save or load. So the lazy way to do this is just to add a text button and in the text just put a capital X, scale that up, and it looks like an exit button. It works fine. Now when I make GUIs, I like to use this plugin called Auto Scale, and it's fine with the light version. I only have the light version, but what it does is it converts the offset scale into a scale scale so like the GUI size and position will adapt to fit different sizes of screens so that the GUI doesn't go off the screen or in a wrong position so I'm just gonna select my frame and go into my plugins and I'm gonna use uh, this unit conversion widget and I'm just gonna set all the position and size to scale mode so that now if I scale my GUI um, it at least does not go crazily off and you can also do this for your other stuff. So my frames here, you can see they were still uh, sort of weird. Scale those. This one. I'm going to do this for all my widgets. All my GUI widgets because I like it. Okay, so now if I scale, you can see it just scales up like this, like that. And if I scale vertically, it does that. 
Alright, so that is the basic GUI layout. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.